So this is currently one of the um, mechanoid mecha brain systems. It's a product that um, they actually sell it. Um, Meccano, you can see it there. And um, it's a mecha brain. So what I did was, and I think I spoke about this previously on my other videos, it doesn't actually come like this, okay? It doesn't come with this cord on it. Um, it's part of how I put the unit together for anybody that wants to build mechanoid robots or that are wanting to understand what's going on. I actually went inside and configured the wires so that it can help with the audio system and make it all respond more louder and from a greater distance because, as you know, the mics and everything and everything, they just suck on these things. I'm sorry to say that. They just, they're just garbage, okay? Even if you buy a little tip-top one. I'm so, sorry, Meccano. Um, I found the robot to be of, of, of decent and a good standing quality to me. Um, as somebody who uses hands-on buy little tools. But what I did not like was the speaker system on it. It really, really was not the best thing for the robot. Um, so I went inside and I changed that around. Okay, and I added this. And I'll talk about that at a later time, okay? Because I'll show you the back of the mechanoid unit. Um, but in here, there's different slots. And each one are for legs, heads, arms, and other servos. Now, within my other previous videos, you see on the unit, um, same unit which is sitting back here. Um, you see on the unit that it had other more shoulders because I adapted motors in and different functions into it. And the head still works the same way, the swinging and all that, because I wanted it to have that UFO style thing where it could look up. I didn't like the fact that it just went up and down, so I made it do all this other stuff, like, you know, you can look around with his head and stuff like that, where it can do, you know, the whole, the whole tilt-wise thing instead of just doing, you know, like, it does, it does all of that, you know, because it was, the, the, the head was a different kind of um, setup on it. And, um... This right here was is another part of the unit. Um, this came from um, a desktop PC speaker. So I plugged all that in, and then I got an external power source for the bottom, and I wired that in, too, and made the sound more louder. So anyhow, um, this thing has a drone mode feature on it. There's drone mode features that are on here. Okay, and um, they um, allow the robot to do other things. I found it to be useful, but not very useful in um, getting the robot to do certain things, even with advanced programs um, provided <laughs> by your site, of course. Um, hopefully you guys can see how many times I downloaded your programs. Um, yeah. Um, will I say that this is a, a, a good brand to me? Um, yes and no. It served its purpose as this unit. Okay, so that's my review on this first gen Meccano um, box for the four footer to the seven footer robot um four feet seven feet robot um excuse me four feet seven feet robot um that's just how i feel about this box now the color mode system it worked for a good periodical time and it it, it lived and, and and shined its value okay um after a while it stopped lighting up so you know, the quality of this thing is not really that great. And um, mind you, this was before I actually started tinkering with it, okay, and adapted the line. It just kind of like pissed me off because when I got it, it was like, you know, I bought the whole unit. I, I had a receipt, but then, you know, you know how, how that works. You know, they told me, you know, I called the shop. They actually gave me a number. I have a man. I spoke about that. So um, anyhow, I went on up in here and I attached it like I said, guys. Um, and another thing, the USB port on here, okay, the 
the durability on it, it's 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 not the best. It's not the greatest. Okay, it's more like an Android, but it uses its own special mecha mechano, mecha brain, mechanoid, whatever you want to call it. Um, cord. Okay, because and it does differ. Okay, so that and even on the other box, which here you should be able to see. I have a different box now, which is a blue box. You can see even on that one, it does the same thing. Okay, so I went online and I purchased this one from you guys for, I believe, you know, what was it? Um, I believe it was like 50, 60 bucks, something like that I purchased it for. You know, I may have gotten a deal in order to time, you know, but um, from your company. Okay, I got a deal from your website. Okay, now remember, I did actually talk to the guys in the service department. I do have a number for them on my, on my book, and I did talk about it in previous videos. Um, the, um, the USB port slots on here for these things, they're, they're not the greatest. I don't like them. They're not sturdy. They're not supported. Um, somewhere in between the transfer of updates, it glitches, and it gives the device a, a shorten it so... Certain units like this unit right now, I'm going to have to get a whole new brain because it's like it's stuck in English mode. I switched it over to English mode and now it doesn't want to work. It's not my cable. I know it's not my cable. You know what I'm saying? Because I had the same problem on this box before I tinkered with it. Okay. This one I didn't have to tinker with because you guys actually... Made this for it where is it the slot where the earphone jack gizmo can go in which was brilliant because then you added a little small speaker but the little gray speaker that you added wasn't really worth the time of day and I'll tell you why because hopefully it's in here yes it is this thingy here that you guys made doesn't work that great, okay? So, I had the idea that I would take an external USB power source and put it down here. And then, I would take my desktop PC speaker and mount it in between here. And just by doing all the wiring and a couple little connection changes and stuff... The droid now has a louder speaker on it, okay? And I also was able to add inside of it a light, okay? Now, this little thing that, 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 that you made right here, it's it, you, you better, it, it, the power supply is not worth it for someone that really wants to buy a mechanoid unit. So my advice to anybody that has these units do a couple changes and make a couple modifications. The designers has the greatest ideas. They have the greatest minds when you put these things together. I will give them that, but there are a couple flaws. So these are the flaws that I want to point out. And this thing is basically, it's, 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 it's kind of like worthless to me. You know what I'm saying? I could use it, I could not, but basically, you know, I can get a longer, a longer with my, you know, unit. I've taken it to the Franklin Institute you know what I'm saying? I've taken it to Big Park. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, um, you know, the, 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 the system works very good. It works way better than this thing. You know what I'm saying? I was really surprised with that. Um, okay. And um, the servos, the servos, okay, the servos, the mechanisms which, which are inside these servo units, they work good, but the quality of them, they could be a little bit better because... After you actually screw in the bolts, you have to actually go back in and tighten after a while certain bolts that are inside of here because they become loose. And they're already firm. Okay. So some of them sometimes when you run it, you hear a screw or something loose inside of them. So, you know, I don't exactly know what that's about. I followed the direction to the T. But I just figure it's because one of the nuts that are inside after the robot moves over a period of time, you know. So that's a hassle when you got to do maintenance on that, okay. 
So when you have to go in that thing and do that, that's, that's a hassle. Um, maybe the next time when I build the unit, I may decide to add a, a little bit of solder or maybe some kind of glue that'll hold that in place real good, knowing that I'm gonna lose it, but it'll probably hold better. Um, but you know, parts and stuff can go. The wiring, the way the wiring's arranged, you could have a, a, a different kind of housing. I see you doing something different with the housing. You know, I've actually seen wires that come out with lights on them. So, you know, that's what I'm thinking, like hooking mines up with wires and lights that'll come out. You know, when I do that, I'm going to show you. If you guys get, beat me to it, great. You know what I'm saying? I don't want the, the idea. I'm just giving you something to, to tinker with. Um, so, you know, and um, I do love the... the the, the, the utility tools, the utility tools are very, very good. I do like your utility tools. I give you, I give you good ratings on these. These are, these are very good. You know what I'm saying? For, for, when, for when it helps you with the building, you just got to, you know, be ready to do what you got to do and put it together. Okay. Um, so really, that's like, you know, that, that's about it. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to see if I had one of the other ones. Yes, yes, I do. Hold on a minute, guys. Okay, bang. Okay, now this is an actual unit that I stripped down, okay? That's the actual inner core working of the light systems and everything inside the unit, so you guys can see what it's made up of. You know what I'm saying? That's the lighting unit, okay, in the servo unit. And here's part of the actual servo unit that actually makes up that arm for when it lights up, you know? And it's the inner part working up in this in this area. You know, so that'll make a lighting signal. That's what that is. That's what's in that unit. So you guys want to know everything that's inside of there. I've actually taken them apart and, you know, did a lot of stuff with it, you know. So. Otherwise, but otherwise I give this video um, and this robot, I'll say, you know, oh, and always keep a good Allen key on your hand. They're going to they're gonna supply you with an Allen key. Keep it on hand. Make sure you have your Allen, a Allen key on hand. You know, I usually just carry an Allen key set or have an Allen key on hand. You know what I'm saying? Because the robot it does use Allen keys on it. You know what I'm saying? The specific size is doing. Coming to you, if you don't know, you got to get universal size. I don't really exactly know the particular specific size. Um, I could look later on and tell you guys. Um, but right now, yeah, it's in the England mode. Um, I do like the English mode of the unit. Um, it reminds me of Doctor Who. If any of y'all don't know who Doctor Who is, I can't explain it. Um, I can't even explain to you. East Enders is. Hopefully you watch East Enders. Um, shout out to the people in BBC. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the British, the English, you know what I'm saying? Um, for all that they do here. And as well as their own worlds um, in their lives. Um, I have been truly blessed to watch such programs as Doctor Who. Um, different sci-fi programs. Um, from I, I, I'm a Tom Baker lover. I, I I love Tom Baker. You know, I, I I just love Doctor Who. You know, I like the Tardises, time and relative dimensions in space. I just love anything that's futuristic wise. Um, Quantum Leap was another show I used to like. I used to love Quantum Leap. Um, it was a guy about a guy who um he leaped forth in time and stuff, and you know he was just you know. A very good show, Quantum Leap, okay? Um, I also love stuff like MacGyver. Not this MacGyver that they have out today. That is, I'm sorry, my friend. Um, the, uh, the original MacGyver, okay? Not MacGyver the robot like Guyver. I'm talking about MacGyver, the guy that tinkers with tools and stuff and used to make lasers out of lights and stuff and burn hope. MacGyver, not this guy that's out right now. He's probably doing some good stuff, but... I can't feel that because I know original MacGyver did original stuff that we can still tinker with and do today. That some people should really go back and look at MacGyver videos because they will educate you to certain things that you can do. Pfft, man. Anyhow, um, on another fine note, okay? I'm not trying to stomp on those grounds. On another fine note, okay? Those are the shows that I like. You know what I'm saying? I like games like Dead Rising, Evil Dead Regeneration, Evil Dead Fistful of Boomsticks, um, Red Dead Redemption. Um, you know, any 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 game.
that has anything to do with zombies, I just love it. Left, you know, I, I love them. Okay, let's just put it like that. Emphatic. I love it even better when they're third person shooters. Okay. Um, this is just an inside of my life, how I feel. Um, I love to work. I love to be, I'm serious about my work when I'm in that specific driving forceful mood. Okay. Um, I'm passionate about my animals, my fish. Um, you know, things of that nature. You know, so... That's about it. So you guys tell me what you like. I'll be showing some other stuff, not just only a robot. I got a couple of other little things I want to show around. Um, that's about it. Anybody that wants to see the unit started, you can watch my videos and stuff like that. I will be coming with some future stuff on the videos and stuff. Um, for right now, I'm enjoying the English mode. I'll let y'all hear a little bit of that maybe later on in another video. Um, so that's about it. Um, the unit is, however, charged up. Um, plug her in. There is, however, The power sources, the slots that you use to plug in the power connectors, they're cheap. Wholeheartedly, they're cheap. They're the worst things to work with. They're cheap. Okay? You shouldn't even made the model with them. However, I do like your product, but this is cheap, okay? System check. Make her brain activated. Running system diagnostic. Let me check my battery level. Battery level great. I will now check my LEDs now. This should brighten up your day. So basically, you know, the unit... So basically... The LEDs seem to be functioning properly. Mm. Stand back. I'm now going to test my servers. I hope you brought tickets to the gun show. This servo seems to be a little too tight. Time period check. Can you loosen a bit for me? System shutting down. Okay. So it gave me indication this servo is tight on its arm. So what does that tell me? There's a servo up in there, and I remember I just started talking about the servos and how you get one. So I'm gonna adjust that, work on that a little bit. I should get a different response on the servo. And that may also have been because I had to move this chair and hit it on the chair. So I may have jammed the servo a little bit. Not really jammed, but made it think it couldn't freely move. Hi, LED seems to be functioning properly. Everything Stand does back. fine. I'm now going to test my Let's see if fine. I Look fine. Got tickets to the gun show. See? Yeah, it was because it hit the chair. And that was only because it hit the chair in system check mode. Is my right arm up? Press the yellow button for yes or the blue button. Is my left arm up? Press the yellow button for yes or the blue button for no. Go to sleep. Mechanoid. 
Sometimes that happens too. And it's the unit in itself. Mecha, mecha brain. Or, like my son says, mechanoid. Mechanoid. Does it some kind of way. He has a Philly's funny family kind of way of saying it. Mecha brain. I never get it. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Mechanoid. Mechanoid. See? So, somewhere up inside the connections, because this is an original box right here. It should be responding correctly. But these boxes, they're not as sturdy they should be. Mechanoid. Nope. Okay. Mechanoid. I am all ears. Do a dance. Hola, amigo. And two mini servers. Please fix. Thank you. Notice that? So, basically, I built all the servos and everything in there correctly. Never had any problems with it, but after a while, the updates in the system wouldn't update anymore. First, I did it in my white box. Okay. And I'm gonna tell you something. That's before I even tinkered with it when I had my original box. Okay. So, I get little glitches. The servo connections, the black servo connection that you guys use. Oh, and here's one of the motors also too within the within the servo joints. I broke one of them down. You know what I'm saying? That's where all the motor pieces in the servo. Did you know Japan is home to about half the world's robots? The Japanese word for robot is Jinzuming. So, yeah, it does that too. That's what I love about it. I love, there's a lot of things I love about your electronics. I really do. And this is a personal video, video for the Mechano Mechanoid Company. I do love your products. And I am definitely leaving this video for you. It's, it's just some things that I think you can improve on. Definitely, absolutely, those things that I talked about. Definitely, absolutely, the power slot, the USB port, okay? The slotting system on here is a great idea. I definitely support these bigger models, okay? So, you know what I'm saying? I give this robot a thumbs up in my book. There are some things that need improvement on, you know what I'm saying? I do know there's a definite another model of the robot, but... I, I found these parts, the first generation, because I bought this from the first white box, first generation, which was the, um, I believe it was the 2.0, then it be, became the XL or something like that. I think this is the original frame um, for the robot. And then it had the other robot, that it, the, the other one that it came out to, the little bit more darker, the reddish color looking one. Um, but as far as for the microphones in here, they could be more better, um, but they are workable with. Um, I will say that on that note. Definitely the USB slot, because like I said, on both my boxes, non-tinkered box, non-tinkered box, updates don't properly come through. So now this one is stuck in the English mode. This one, however, is on USA standard times and everything like that, but that one's stuck in the English mode, which I love that mode, okay? I'm going to learn the proper pronunciation for that mode because I love that mode better. My son, he can talk to it and it'll do whatever he tells him. You know what I'm saying? Because he, he, he loves different programmers from all over the world. You know what I'm saying? He's a versatile child. 
You know what I'm saying? And that's what I love about him. You know what I'm saying? He sees that love sees no color. You know what I'm saying? That's, that, that, that's how we are at Philly's Funny Family. So I just want people to know and, you know, hopefully that's it. If you watch the video, watch the video. Hopefully my lady probably edited, speed some stuff up a little bit, you know. That's about it. Worldwide with God. You know what I'm saying? Worldwide, worldwide. What can you see? What Dean 316 has brung for me. And Philly's funny family. So, you know, peace, 100. Your boy is out. And of course, just want you guys to know that when it comes, the bag does come in a whole bunch of tiny parts. They come like parts, bolts and stuff like that. Little boxes and squares. It's like a puzzle that you got to put all together. Each one of these are puzzles and there's bolts. So just keep that in mind. Just a quick, just a quick something because when I say the builders, I'm talking about they originally built them. Yeah. But when they ship them to you, they don't they don't build all this. You got to put the screws in every little tiny piece, every little bolt that you see, everything there, you got to put that piece together. You know what I'm saying? Like this frame is already intact as a frame, but it's in pieces. It's like puzzles, man. Like little aisles and blocks. You got to put them together with little tiny bolts. And you got to take your time. You got to be patient. Step by step by step. Okay? It's a disciplined thing to have to do it. So I'm just letting you guys know. So that's why I'm doing this review. And that's why I can say what I can say. Because I took step by step by step by step. You know? So it's a review. That's what it is.